what's your problem? Okay, so. He let you talk? Now let him talk. What's your problem? He just get on my nose. He just hit me out of nowhere. He do. Every time we playing, he be just smacking me so hard. He do want to put my hands back on him. As a brother, you should feel bad that your brother that your brother feels like you abuse him. I feel like no, 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 no. He feels my feel that they laugh, and then but you can say that. No, sometimes. I feel like every time when he stop talking to me, I tell him stop talking to me, stop talking to me. No, you do this. No, you do that. God gave me a mouth. I can talk. Did you didn't want to talk to me? <laughs> Did he? I'm just asking questions. Did he? Yes. yes, he did. He did. He did. All day, every day, Tajay, 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 Tajay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you see that both of y'all are telling the same story? No. Not, not meaning a lie. Meaning that y'all saying the same thing. Yeah. You cannot inflict your pain on one another. Sometimes when you hit him. That hit comes back and hit you because I'm the man. And if you don't learn that at a very young age, you'll be putting yourself in a lot of a cycle. You know what I'm saying? And some guys that's out here, they kill one another. You know what I'm saying? Or kill one person. Yeah, the games bang and stuff like that. And... No. They don't understand the concept that they are doing. Sometimes, even when you shoot a, shoot a bullet at somebody, you might hit that person that you're aiming at, but it ultimately don't hurt him. It hurt his family. No, you came by my shirt. Stop So, you need to stop hitting him as well as he needs to stop hitting you. Cause you never know what it'll trigger in somebody's mind. Don't ever put yourself in a situation where it's either kill or be killed. Mama, what? You wanna know how many pounds I you wanna know how many kisses I gave you before I smack you in the face? It don't matter. You can always remove yourself if you're not comfortable. That don't mean stay and deal with his abuse. You need to leave. You're not God yourself. You are a God, but you're not God. Shut up. I'm, I'm not playing. You're not God himself. You don't need to put your hands on nobody. If someone is threatening you and telling you that, you, that they want to fight, until they touch you, you do not fight. Until he touches you, you do not fight. But try your best to not to put yourself in a kill or be killed situation. Do you know what that means? No. Where you consistently arguing with somebody and then it leads so far that both of y'all are ready to kill each other. So then it becomes very, at that moment, it becomes very radical thinking. So now you pulling out a gun and you aim it at somebody and shoot. Because sometimes when that bullet hit them, it bounces off of their, they, they die, but it bounces off of their skin and then mentally you are fucked up. Because you done took somebody off of this earth that didn't belong in. And that's what your lick will be. And that's what your link will be from God. So he hit you back the same way that you hit somebody else. Your ass going to jail. Or if you got away, you mentally think radical afterwards. You, first of all, if they, if they, Y'all never need to be criminals, no, no way. First, you're very overly emotional. You're very overly emotional. Y'all don't need to go out. Y'all never been in the hood. You ain't gonna go in the hood.
back to the video. So you need to watch what you are doing. Y'all are kids now, so when you hit him, when it, you hit when you hit him, I'm just gonna hit your ass. And when he hit you, I'm just gonna hit you know how I'm trying to say it. But when you grow up, you might not understand what your lick gonna be. Always oh, this this is karma. Y'all karma is karma is always why you do something to somebody else and then God bless you for doing that. And it, when it comes to radical thinking like that, that might just be your lick. I'm not your only parent. But, but, um, if that, if they will you, would you, you, you just eat through my face. A couple months or a couple of years or face, them to prison. Hmm? You might feel death in prison when they ask them a lot when you, when you want your last meal to be. They have, okay, so... Typically, if you if you murder someone, you will spend twenty five years to life in jail. What? Depending on the state, because every state has its own laws and rules and everything else about murder. Depending on what state you're in, um, I know in Missouri, I think you only do. No, I think you only serve like I think fifty percent, fifty between fifty and seventy five percent of your time. So if you get twenty five years, you'll get like you have to do like fifteen of them or something similar to that. Um, but if you get a life sim sentence, that means that you will never see me again. Nobody else. It's basically similar to death. Cause you would never, unless we, we have to consistently always come up there and see you and you know, people be busy. Like people work, they go to school, they got jobs. Wait, a person they ever stop working for them? No, they not gonna never start. Cause now you owe the state. Right here. Put all their might to make sure that you stay there. You are state's property. If you fight a policeman, your lick back from God will be to go to jail for a long period of for a period of time. If you don't want to do the time, do not do the crime. That's all that's, that, that's all that matters. If you never want to be in jail, don't do anything to get yourself put in jail. If you feel that you can't handle it now, because you can skip past trying to escape if you just don't do the shit. Simple. You're not supposed to go out here and kill, steal, rob, um, game bang, be mean to people because, or kill people or inflict your pain on people because your ass is going to go to jail. Exactly. You can't do any of that shit. All you can do is build a career. Make a drug musical. You can't do any of that shit. But if you stab somebody like a hundred times, two, like. You can't stay there a hundred times to stab somebody. A lot of people are. There is a self defense. Law. Listen, no. be quiet. Be quiet. In the self defense law, you have to be 100% right in this law. When I say 100% right, you have to be in a fearful situation, have no other way out, and it or is protecting you or your family. That's the only way where you can inflict the pain on someone else. And it's justified. Other than that, if you see any when you're if you're in a situation like that, if you see any way out, take that way out. It ain't about being a punk or nothing like that. It's about saving your own life. What? So is it like a cop exit and the door is still open? And I, and I, and I, and Wait. so if a, if a cop is exiting a prison, prison and the door takes a few minutes to close, I should try to go, I should try to go to the door.
why do you keep putting yourself in jail? You know, you don't have, you only go to jail if you commit a crime. You do know that, right? Yes. So why are you already convincing yourself in life that you are going to commit a crime? You keep relating the ways to get out of jail besides just not doing a crime. I wouldn't, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't do a crime. What? I won't do the crime, I'm just saying. Mom, we don't this, know our this is mind. how this is how deep it is, and I want you to stop playing all the time. They will rather kill you than chase you. Any time that you try to run, but in the other in the other case, they're gonna either get a SWAT truck or um helicopter to just. Straight, just go after you. So just do not do the crime. Because you see it every day, whether you think that you don't see it, before a police officer will chase you on their feet, they will shoot you first. So if you go into a, a jail cell, the same rules apply. And then not only that, when you go... It, Jail is not, I don't know what, to, if, I don't know if someone ever described jail to y'all before, but jail is not a good place. They make you sleep on cots, and sometimes they be, Where's cots? The, you, you remember when you used to go to daycare and that little thing, they used to sit on the floor and they just give you a blanket? Yeah, yeah, I, I know. <laughs> the little, the little, it's uh, made out of like a ride thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they make yeah. you sleep on cots. Or they make you sleep on steel. They some some prisons do not even give you mattresses. They make you sleep on just that steel. Um, it's dirty in there. Um, just imagine, like you're shy to use the bathroom around us, but imagine being inside of a cell with a whole nother man that you know nothing about and have to pee and shit in front of him. <laughs> imagine going inside of a shower with twenty just from one ward. Going inside of there and taking a shower with everybody, and you can't cover your genitals. Some of the men might be in there, maybe gay, and looking at your butt tops and ready and ready to pounce on you and rape you. Not a game. They rape men all the time in jail. That's why people be saying do not drop the soap. That's the that that's why. Because if you bend over, one of the men might attack you and rape you. It's not. Again, that's why we tell you to stop fighting with these teachers because they will throw your ass in jail so fast. They'll rather claim you to be a menace of society than to help you. I tell y'all all the time, stop arguing with y'all teachers. Stop being disrespectful because they already look at you as a... Y'all know what the word, the ops is, right? Yeah. They, it's not funny. They already look at y'all as ops. Whether they'll pretend that they are helping you when they are not. And actually, if you, let's just put it in your in your perspective. If you accidentally throw one of them chairs that you've been throwing across the room and then hit another student and they get knocked unconscious, they want they going to expel you or you. They're going to. They're going to either expel you or call if the if let's just say on accident. You threw that chair and they hit the kid and knocked the kid unconscious and then they ended up dying afterwards. And that person dies, I cannot save you in that moment. So you need to stop doing stuff just because you feel like doing it. This is very serious. We are real life. You can't be throwing chairs across the room. If you accidentally hit a teacher, they're going to expel you out of the school. And that's if the teacher doesn't press charges on you. You know what pressing charges is? To put you as a to put you as a criminal at a young age. You know you get a felony at any age if you do something wrong. Do it stick on your record? No, it falls off at, after you go to. Uh, it's, it's it's they make it's so much stuff. They make you go through a little program that you get your record kind of expunged. But they really don't expunge it. it kind of steals lingering behind your past. Um, 
and other people can still peel up the files. And if you go do another crime, then the crime's still connected to that. Like, they don't, it, they don't, they made these laws to kick y'all in y'all ass. But that doesn't mean all you have to do is follow the law. That's it. No speeding, no driving while you're drunk. No, none of that. Because of texting while you're on your phone. Because you could be texting and you could accidentally hit somebody. Get a car. Get into a car accident. And if you hit someone and cause them their life, your ass is going to get railroaded. What does that mean? What? Railroad mean to, mean to be put in jail. So it's very, very serious. You need to stop walking around always so upset because you ain't seen half of life yet. If you mad now, <laughs> shit, I don't know what to tell you. You gonna be dead till you matter when you get older. And you gotta pay a bill about some shit that you don't really wanna pay. Pay, pay rent that you really don't even wanna stay there. I'm gonna have a thousand dollars and still be on the streets. Sir, a thousand dollars. It's not gonna do nothing. And grown people money, a thousand dollars is like buying two bags of chips, a soda, maybe a pair of shoes, and that's it, and pay a bill. This is what I like to play. A thousand dollars, and that's it. Huh? Two bags of chips, a soda, and the shoes. That's all y'all like is. Bills are expensive. Expensive. What? What did you say? You said you don't think that people should pay bills. Y'all kids be just walking around thinking that it just like we just walking around. La 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 la. No, <laughs> no, motherfucker. Like, I'm thinking of some shit. I'm thinking of a master plan. I mean, like, we ain't trying to make this down. If you had, if you had a house, right, and they put, and it, to get your bills fixed, it costs seven fifty, seven fifty to pay. Would you pay that? Mm, what, what kind of bill is it? Any type of bill. A water bill. Water bill. Yeah, water bill. He said any type of bill, would you pay the bill? I definitely want to store my No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. First of all, you get a water bill to get water into your house. If you don't pay your water bill, you do not get water. You get a gas bill to make sure that the house stay hot. Some houses have gas stoves and they have gas uh, appliances which is the furnace that's in the clo uh, closet that, you know, burns the hot water. Yeah, that burns the hot water so we can have hot water in it. So if you don't pay your gas bill, you won't have no fucking hot water. But you still might have coal. Uh, you get an electric bill for your summertime, for your summertime for lights. Well, oh, you get an electric bill all year round, but you mostly use electric in the summertime to get uh, air conditioned in the house so if then in the summertime if you don't pay your electric bill then your shit get cut off but the most important bill is the electric bill because electric runs everything then on top of the, the them three little bills <laughs> right then you got rent then you got a car note then you got a cell phone bill, you got cable, Netflix, then you got HBO, all the apps that you gotta pay for. I don't watch HBO's. All of those little apps that you have to pay for. Those, those, if you don't pay those, you won't have nothing to do. Then that's plus if you, if you go to school and you got a student loan, then you got that bill to come in the mail every month. 
or you get a scholarship. That's why I tell you to stop acting a fool in school and pick or, figure out something that you want to do so you get a scholarship. Mm -hmm. Subject, I'll say this. So you didn't have enough money and go, if you didn't have a job, but you still have a, had a little bit of money, but, it's on, but it was only $150. And, it, and a whole thing cost $750 a month to pay. What would you do? Get a job. That's what he's supposed to do. What are you talking about? You have to get a job if you only if you, your rent is seven fifty and you only got one hundred and fifty dollars. Where else are you going to get the money unless you want to do some crimes? Don't ever put yourself in a situation like that. You have to consistently stay working so you can because just as consistent as you stay working is the consistent that you're gonna get bills. Unless you start thinking now about what you're going to do so you can have a goal plan and start making money now while you're living rent free. Bums. <laughs> Y'all could be out there on the street. Hustling. No. Yeah, and hustling don't always mean bad. It don't always mean selling drugs or something like that. You could hustle by picking up rake i mean raking leaves and um long grass you can uh go if you get a bike you can go to the grocery store you can walk up to people older people in the neighborhood hey you want something from the store i charge you this much amount of money to go to the store and ride your bike down to the store get what they want and come back and take your money you gotta start thinking outside of the box just because you see what you see on tiktok and stuff like that it don't always have to be that way. You could be opposite and still make the same amount of money. Even if you go to the you go to the man downstairs, you tell him, hey, I, I can't get no words, but you want some sick, uh, you want um some candy or something. And I uh, it, it, if I went up to the people at the store and said, hey, my son's trying to start a business, but you know most of the older people in this area they smoke cigarettes. It's okay. Because he doesn't smoke, I know that he doesn't smoke. It's okay if you possibly sell him or meet, or you could just buy you a carton of cigarettes. So you ain't gotta buy it from there. Stop. This is how you flip money. Hi, this, this is a serious question. If you, if you, if you ever had kids, and it was Christmas Day, like everything is closed, you had one hundred and fifty dollars, but but you had say it's Christmas Eve, but you didn't have enough money to buy all your kids some presents. What would you do in that situation? Everything's closed. I might try to meet you with them while I didn't have enough money to buy all that stuff. Or I might just, I might just not wake up for Christmas and I didn't buy all of this stuff. And then when I get a lot of money, I get enough money and I say it's Christmas. I hope you don't remember, I hope you don't, they don't remember it's Christmas. Well, Christmas fast. Have you ever saw me do anything selfish? No. Everything? <laughs> what? She not share crab legs. You got a whole thing about crab legs and I came over here. You share nothing with me. They said, you don't give none to us. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> yeah, what you, you love? Know I share. I want you to listen. Sit back. I share my check. I share my car, I share my house, I share my room, I share my living room, I share my dining room, I share the two square rooms that I was that I was supposed to. I now have to start sharing my bed bedroom. I have to share when after I cook something, I have to share after I eat something, I have to share clean up. Uh, one bag of crab legs. 
I want to myself, and I can't have it. This is hypothetical. If you, if a genie popped out of a bottle and it gave you five wishes, what would you do? After you, I go. All five of my wishes would mm. be to to help heal my children. Okay, so you use your five wishes. This is the heart. So I would be heal Farrah, heal Amir, heal Janori, heal you. That's what I would. All five of them? Okay. And bring prosperity would be my fifth one. And then my second wish is to bring back everybody that died in the My third wish is to cancel all cancer, coronavirus and stuff. Cancel every bad thing. And for everybody that had been, that's my, that's my third wish. Everybody, everybody that my third, my third wish is going to be that everybody that been hurt to not be hurt anymore. And then I'm going to give us, the fourth, my fourth wish, I'm going to give us one true, I'm going to give us infinite money. And then, I, I know, I know what the fifth wish like, should be. What? Ban guns. Protection. Protection. Hey. If, if somebody try, if somebody, hey. try, if somebody try to beat you up, and you, what do you do? Fight and you back. Can't, and you can't fight. What do you do? You can't fight, and you only, and the only thing you know is how to hold a gun. What do you do? Smack with the gun. That's a good question. If you can't fight, and the only thing you know how to do is hold a gun, what do you do in a fighting situation? I would just pull the trigger. So that's why you need to learn how to fight, and not always fight with a gun. And fighting is very easy. I don't. I don't. Just fight. you, y'all have to talk to uh, y'all have to talk to a man about this. I, I try not to fight. I it wears my spirit down. So that was the end of the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications. It's been Nanny's kids and we out. Yeah, stay safe. Okay.